Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Heart of Iron 4 in our Republic of Spain campaign. We are gonna try to close this gap this episode and um, I just took a look at our theater over, over here and um, the game has decided to give us some encouraging words here. Our offense is going well and our de defense is going well, so that's just about as much as you can ask for, isn't it? So let's go, let's start off and hopefully this battle will... Um, and soon we're actually gonna send pretty much all of our divisions and we're gonna send uh, these guys to advance as well so we can take Zaragoza while they're tied up up here. And also that means that we tie up some of their units which uh, have to fight with our front here so they can't reinforce us up here, they reinforce themselves up here. Hopefully this battle is over soon, it doesn't seem to be, but um, if it would, we could close this gap here. And you know what? Um, as a backup plan, we're gonna try to circumvent this gap here and try to close the gap here instead. And at least trap two units, probably more. Um, Okay, so we won. We lost the battle here. That's surprising. We did keep our um, our grand battleship at least, but um, okay. Well, that I was surprised by that. Usually the um, the Republicans win all of the naval battles, but um, sometimes gotta be the first, I guess. Okay, so now that we have closed this gap here, we can um, try, try, try to um, get Bilbao before it's too late and defend it. We might have, um, we might have um, left at least one unit there, but um, it was quite important that we did close the gap as soon as possible. So let's try to retake that as soon as possible. And now the Soviets are here. Let's see. Just a regular unit. Well, he is better equipped and uh, have better organization than pretty much all our than pretty much all of our divisions. So it's a welcome help. Let's see if we can retake Bilbao now then. Anyway, we've um, pocketed this guy here, and we've pocketed at least two another units. Probably, probably no more, but at least them. And we've gained another civilian factory in uh, Aragon, which is something. It's not amazing, but it's something. Uh, we did lose, I think, two civilian and one military factory here, so that's not great, but could be a lot worse. And it's quite important that. We to keep this gap closed and that we have our gap open so that our units up here gets uh, re reinforced and uh, get their equipment delivered to them. Now we can see here that we have um, a rogue little guy here trying to break through which is perfect for us because we that means we can surround him and take him out. Now, the important things here are that we keep these gaps open and prevent the nationalists from um, from taking them. And um, we're gonna go with air superiority here, support our troops as much as possible. Uh, let's actually see how many planes they have 26 and we have 30 so hopefully we can um, we can outnumber them on that front and we also need to take a look at this we right now we don't have any support or artillery equipment being produced but I think that's um, understandable considering the situation you know what I'm gonna lower 
the effect volume just a little bit. Okay. What happened here? What the hell? Okay, uh, this could be going better. Um, because we did stop them before they reached Madrid, which is the important part because that means we still own the state and this is pretty much our most important state um, in factory terms. I don't know what the Soviets are doing. Um, doesn't seem like much. Let's see here. Who are you? You are you. Okay. So let's merge these two armies. Try to get around this guy. Uh, we might be able to do that. Once again, let's make sure that we do this. Now that we um, pretty much secured this area, we can afford to send one guy over here. This guy should be dead soon, and then we can free up these units by that. This battle is soon over, which means these two will retreat and we will win this one. Uh, so hopefully we'll have some free units that we can send to defend over here. Doesn't really mean much that we're losing this battle as long as we get around them. Um, I'm just gonna send over some troops to make sure that we defeat this guy. This guy. Um, we are losing some ground, but that is understandable considering the situation. Um, I'm gonna try to just take everything here so we can um, make sure that these guys doesn't get, don't get any supply, so we can easily take easier, easierly take them with less difficulty. Stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna send this guy over here and then we're gonna attack from that f flank so we um, always have a unit stationed in Bilbao. Uh, these spells are going fine. This isn't, but that's fine because I mainly used him to prevent them from attack Madrid. So let's send this guy down here to secure Madrid with the other guy. We are winning anyway, but just to make sure. Um, this front is holding. So let's create a little offensive line then, shall we? Something like this, and um, when some of our troops are freed up out here, we're gonna try to cut off this uh, little encroachment into our lands and see if we can uh, entrap some more units. Okay, so now we're mainly just waiting, so we're gonna speed up the time a bit. Okay, now they're making more offensive gains here, which doesn't mean much because we're still controlling the state since we do hold Madrid. Um, I would like for the Soviets to, you know, help out or something, but they don't seem too keen on that. Listo. 
Let's send our unit up here to uh, retake some land. I don't know why these guys think they can't get to um, to the to their front because which is what that yellow um, exclam exclamation mark means because um, well they can basically they they are standing on it. We're gonna win this fight soon, and then that means we can free up some units here, which will mean we get we will we will take these guys quicker, which will mean we have even more units, which mean this um, fight won't mean as much. Okay, that's that. Great. Let's delete your unit, your orders then. Do something like. That, uh, stuff like that, and um, create some offensive plans for this army, and also for um, this army I just checked on. Now let's, we're gonna keep the Montagna, the mountain troops up here in the mountains, and we're gonna send down some regular troops to help hey, out on the lower front. Pretty much um, just in time there. We're gonna allow this army, this army right here, the army 7 I believe, or army 1, army 1 to build up some planning and then we're gonna attack. Okay, so this just happened. Fantastic. Let's try to um, free him if we can. Okay, we won't be able to, so... Okay, so we got an equipment effort done, finally. Uh, now we can do this. Because now we're, it's going to be built in uh, Catalonia instead of um, instead of uh, nationalist uh, territory. So we are pretty much going to lose these units, unfortunately. But that's just how it's going to be. That's well, it's uh, partly my fault for not. Um, Looking out. Yep, we aren't building any fighters right now, and that's because they are less important that, than pretty much everything else, especially less important than infantry, infantry equipment. We aren't even catching up on infantry equipment, uh, we are losing some every battle. Um, which, as you can see, the yellow bars are quite low on everyone. Hopefully this is done soon, so we can free up the troops to do something else. Let's try to think, um, free these guys. I don't know why these guys refuse to help out with anything. Okay, so the Olympiad finished, the one where Jesse Owens got a wave from um, Hitler. A nice guy, that Hitler. I always said that. Uh, okay, so they, these guys have built up some planning, so let's rush in and um, Now, uh, let's rush in and try to uh, get the Nationalists to divert some forces from here, so we can maybe save our 
remaining two units here and hopefully we, these guys don't get cut off as well. So now it's still 36 so let's get some construction upgraded. Um, then we're also gonna try to get some um, some division attack here uh, for our infantry. start to send out these uh, divisions as well, just to take, retake all the land that we can and prevent the movement of the nationalist units as well. Listo, señor. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what, let's um, try to make a little get a little maneuver done here because that works they're, they're totally fine with um, going here just not going here it's a bit uh, weird sometimes now let's try to uh, encapsulate this guy try to get some revenge for they killing our two units Uh, let's see here. No, not you. You guys, um, form up around this this guy and um, kill him, pretty much. And you guys can move up. The next thing we're gonna try and do is cut the line pretty much here and divide these two territories up. They will still be able to um, send the supply pretty, pretty easily over the Atlantic Sea here, but it will be easier to encapsulate them later on. So you know what, let's send another guy up here and then let's draw the line up there like that. Then we can do this, and maybe even um, give them two more units, just to make sure that they have enough to cover the area. Oh, we, st we still hold Madrid, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, that's what's important, pretty much. Adelante! Adelante! So, um... Right, you guys don't have any orders anymore. So let's do this then. Let's try to um, do as I said and um, do the spearhead attack. Try to um, to try and um, take uh, split these two territories because if we can do that, we can pretty much take this quite easily and then they these um, nationalist scum only have um, this part of the country left and then we have pretty much won even though they will gain some foreign support still rethink this a bit and uh, army 3 is gonna take the Madrid defense defense area uh, as soon as this battle is over so they can mobilize and when they have done that we're gonna allow the army let's see here army 4 to just take the southern tip here and then we can advance on Sevilla 
Okay, so our doctrine is done. We're gonna keep pushing on on that. If we would have had it when we got uh, encircled before, our units would have lasted much longer. Uh, let's see here. Army free, you are gonna take this little. Actually, we can just do this and work that out quite easily. All right, so we're winning. We're losing. Okay, so we just gain a factory here. Let's keep on doing that. Uh, we are losing most of our, if not all of our uh, offensive um, attacks here, but we are winning every defensive one. So, um, we can't take that right now, can we? Uh, Soviet Union, we will do. Um, so it's a bit of a stalemate. We control pretty much half of the country each, but um, it could be worse. How is our navy looking? Could be better, could be better. Why can I do this? Alright, so... Let's... Let's capitalize on... Um, and the fact that most of their army is down here in the south in the mid and let's try to ta retake as much here as possible and we did it we pretty much cut them off here so that's great so that's pretty much exactly what we wanted to do so let's um, make sure that we reinforce this little front here uh, you can dump all of your uh, front over here, and then we can pretty much charge in and hopefully take as much as possible. Uh, let's go. You, in the meantime, army one, uh, can start making up some plans to advance here and push the nationalists down in the country, as, as much down in the country as possible. Uh, they do have some states with uh, a little... Uh, a few factories left. We uh, we have most of the industrial states though, so that is a positive for us. We just gained enough factories to push all this up, so you know what, let's create some fighters here. Um, we can import from France, so then we can actually uphold our air superiority here, because we do have air superiority and we are Providing some troops with our with some well needed support by having that. As you can see here, we have enemy air superiority. And we look at that. The time is already up. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Please leave a like if you like this series. It means a lot, and it means that I know whether or not you want to see more. Um, please consider subscribe if um, well if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.